Hi, hi. How are you? Are you ready for class? Good. Today we're talking about numbers. So I think you already know these numbers. Can you tell me what they are? Very good. But can you say them backwards? 10, 9. Very good. Now, after that, we have numbers 11 to 20. They're easy, but be careful because 13 sounds like 30. You need to pronounce 13 carefully. The same with 14, 15, 16. Can you tell me the numbers 11 to 20? Mm -hmm. Very good. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we have 21, 22, yes, 23, 24, and so on. Then we have 30, 31, 32. Good. Then we have 40. Mm -hmm. Then after 40, it's 50. Then after 50, it's 60. Then after 60, it's 70. Then 80, then 90, then 100, 200, 300, 400. Those are easy. What number is this? 156, 156. Or you can say 156. But in England, we always say and. 156. What number is this one? Do you know this? It's 1000. 1000. 1000. So if that's 1000, what number is this? 2232. Now, I will say a number and I want you to write it. Ready? 6,582. 6,582. Here it is. Did you get it? Well done. Okay, bigger numbers. So after 9,000, we have 10,000. 11,000, 20,000, 30,000. Then after 99,000, we have 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000. So what number is this? 500,000. Good. <laughs> what number is this? 540,432. Very, very good. Now let me tell you a number and you write down what you think it is and we will see if you are right. 678,376. I know, it was hard. No, I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> Replay the video. Now, even bigger numbers. After 900, oh, my cat is here. After 999,999, 999, we have 
one million. One million. So this number is one million nine hundred and thirty thousand nine hundred and thirty six. Now, can you say this number? Yeah, six million two hundred and ninety three thousand two hundred and twenty one. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, I will say a number and you will write it. I will say it one time. Ready? Okay. 2,363,234. Did you get it? Well done if you got it. Now, to finish our class, I wanted to give you something easier. It's called ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are used for dates, mostly for dates. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, yep, twelfth, thirteenth, very good. And we also use them when we're talking about places. For example, my cats are fighting, we keep getting disturbed. Okay, for example, I came first in my English class at school. How about you? Did you come first in anything? Excellent. Ah, did you ever come last in anything? Yeah, me too. I, I was always last in running because I was a very slow runner and I was not good at sports. How about second? Did you ever come second for anything? I am so frustrated when I come second because I always think I could have come first. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that English class and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.